Some commuters in Lagos State on Friday expressed dissatisfaction over the hike in fares by the Primero Transport Services Limited, operator of the bus rapid transit, transit popularly known as BRT, in the state. The BRT operator on Thursday announced an upward review of transport fares across all routes with effect of, of for Friday to meet up with current challenges. The managing director of the transport company, Fola Tinubu, said that the firm understood the plight of the people and the economic situation, but that the step became imperative to keep serving the commuters diligently and to provide a world-class service for them. He said the cost of operating the buses had increased so much that the firm is finding it difficult to survive and sustain operations and had been piling up losses. And joining us live tonight via Zoom is Fola Tinubu, the managing director and chief executive officer of Primero Transport Services Limited. Thank you, Mr. Tinubu, for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Now, I'm going to ask this first. What informed your withdrawal of your services since Monday? We did not withdraw our services. What happened was our supplier of diesel refused to supply, and since there's no diesel, we cannot operate. So we had to seek with them to negotiate with them because we are owing them. And uh, we sat with them and the state government and we worked it out. And they start supplying again. And that's why we're back on the road now. Now, tell us about your, in your increase in price, which took effect from today, Friday, May 29. Yes. What we've done is that well, we have increased our prices where everybody's paying 200 naira now, they'll pay 300 naira. And where they're paying 300 naira before they'll pay 500 naira. Bottom line is this. The company has not been profitable in the last four years. Our books are open. Anybody can check it at uh, FMDQ or at uh, Stock Exchange because we have to file an annual uh, report with them. It's open. Anybody can check it. We need to put this on a sustainable footing. And what we were charging before was not even enough to cover the operating costs and everything. So we have no choice but to do this. Now, some Lagosians have, have argued the fact and also said that didn't the firm count the cost of operating the buses and the calculated outcome prior to this time? Look, the cost keeps changing. I'll give you an example. Um, six months ago, we brought uh, in parts for six months, uh, parts for six months. And when we did it, uh, we bought about $1.1 million worth of uh, parts. And we paid, uh, I think, just over 400 million naira for that. Now, we're just about to buy another six months worth of parts. Naira has gone to 450 to a dollar. We now have to spend almost 600 million naira to buy the same parts that we spent, six, that we spent about 400 and something million for uh, six months ago. There's so many things that's out of our control. All our suppliers have increased their prices again. The people, the, the, our car suppliers are, are even asking us to sign something that says when we pay them, we pay them, as, you know, depending on what the dollar price is when we are ready to pay them. So they, look, there's so much that is out of our control that we have to do this to make sure the business survives and is sustainable. Finally, Mr. Tinubu, what, what do you have to say to some commuters who have expressed their dissatisfaction over the hike in price and citing insensitivity to the plight of, of Lagosians? This is not insensitivity at all. Let me say something now. The four days that we are off the road, the downfalls started charging from mile 12, from Ikorudu to mile 12, 500 Naira. They were charging 1,500 Naira from Ikorudu to TBS. If Primero, God forbid, fails, everybody will end up paying more because the downfalls, they're going to jack up the prices. This is actually in the best interest of everybody in the long run. They may not see it right now. If the company survives five years from now, six years from now, 10 years from now, they will keep enjoying the same service and the price will be reasonable. Even now, our price is still the lowest compared to everybody on that crowd. And I'm talking about therefore I'm talking about waterways, I'm talking about all oh, the red buses, I'm talking about the uh, white buses. We still have the lowest price compared to everybody else on that on that on that corridor. All right, lastly, Mr. So, lastly, Mr. Mr. Tinubu, um, aside the hike in, in price, in coming days and weeks and months, what should Lagosians be looking forward to 
as it affects the services that will be provided by the BRT. We should expect a much, much better services. We plan to put more buses on the road now. And we, with this, we should be able to have no disruption in services at all, uh, like on like before, when uh, we're constantly running out of our, our supplies and diesel. With this now, we believe that you know they will get a world-class service and there will be no disruption in services. Mr. Fola Tinubu, it's been a pleasure having you join us on the news. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you.